Um, so the yellow jackets, they've been drowning in the top like this, and that's pretty normal. The bottom, they've been leaving it alone for like several days, and now all of a sudden, today, it's like August 21st, there's just a bunch of yellow jackets in the bottom. It's it's insane. Uh, see if you can count them. I, I don't know. But this is that Y trap, this one that I had to kind of modify to get them to go in it because the bait that came with it did not work. And, uh, let's see, oh, come on, I'm standing in a weak Wi-Fi spot, that's why I'm trying to zoom in, but basically it's just sugar water and soap in the top, that's pretty much all it is, and I haven't changed it in probably weeks, and I added a little bit of water to it, and I think they like the smell of the dead bugs, honestly, and there's all kinds of bugs going in there, not just the yellow jackets, uh, beetles, all kinds of things, and they're just, uh, Going in there and drowning. There's a beetle up on top. I don't know why he's... Oh, no, that's a yellow jacket. Um, I think it's a yellow jacket. It's got weird antennas on the front of it. But uh, anyway, they're just going nuts. All I did on the bottom was just put a little bit of maple syrup down there. It's been there for a long time. And a little bit of sugar water. And they're just... I don't know where they came from. I mean, that's got to be like at least two or three nests worth... Big nests worth of yellow jackets there. Um... Yeah, again, don't know where they where they came from because I went and killed, you know, all the nests I could find. But uh, I'm looking over across at the other traps too, and they are looking uh, pretty good, but not as good as this one. I mean, they they've caught more yellow jackets. You can see it; they're built up in there in the other ones. But this one's just just nuts. Well, I'll, sh I'll try to show you the other ones. So let's see. There it is. There's the other one, and it's got like I can see from here maybe five yellow jackets in it at the most in the regular one come on camera focus there we go right there um i don't know if i'm gonna lose my wi-fi now that's why i'm not walking out there i'm gonna go ahead and check out the one in the back it's a live video we'll see if we can do that without losing wi-fi but yeah see if you can count how many are in there it's just crazy now i will let you see if i can the in the top there they're just inside running around can't get out it's crazy um, they're on the side, you know, trying to figure out what to do. And there's so many dead ones in there that they can stay in the top. And they can just kind of hang out. They don't drown right away. Because if, if there was just water in the top, they would drown a lot faster. They'd get down in there. But they will stay alive until they, you know, get dehydrated or whatever from the sugar water. And then they'll go down and become part of it. But, uh, anyways, let's go back here. See if we can get a picture of the, uh, the other trap before I uh, lose Wi-Fi. And I'm also trying to kill those ants back here, those carpenter ants on this tree. And they had found a way to come back. I think I killed them all today. They were all running out of the tree and some of them dropped, oh, there's one right there. I'm gonna have to kill this stinking thing right there. Can I smash him with just my finger? He's an ant. Uh, he tried to bite me, but I got him off the tree. So, but yeah, they've been, there was a ton of them on there this morning and I got them I got them off. Let's take a look at our trap that I promised you. So here's a trap back here in the sun. There's only one in there right now. Like I said, for some reason, like these are 10 month, the 10 month pods. For some reason, they're not interested in that right now. They're interested in the maple syrup. So I don't know what's changed their mind. Because like pretty much since we put this up and the other ones, they've pretty much been interested in these traps the most. But all of a sudden today, for some reason, they're introduced in the, they're interested more in the maple syrup than anything else. But, uh, Ants seem to be leaving that alone. Since the last video I did on this, which hasn't published yet, on the killing the ants, I cocked all the holes shut, as you can see on the tree from the carpenter ants, and it seemed to help, but they all, it seemed like there's a huge number of them there today, and I just killed them, and I keep finding them and stomping on them. Let's see if I can find some around here. It's like they're coming out of the ground. I think they're, they must have some sort of ant hill or something right here because this is all dry. And there's these little holes, and they seem like they just come out of there. And you can see dead ants on the sidewalk here. They were cleaning up their dead, picking them up, but every time I just stomp on them, when they came out to pick up their dead. So, uh, these ants, you guys, those ants, you can see any more coming. I mean, I don't know if I'll see more tomorrow, but I think I've wiped them out. But, we go back over here to our yellow jacket mayhem for those watching live. I think we had like four viewers live there. Guess we'll just sit here for a while and let you guys try to count them. But yeah, typically I use brake cleaner to kill 
the Yellow Jackets. Yesterday, I'll tell you what I did yesterday. So yesterday, I cleaned out the Nissan Pathfinder, and it is for sale. I got for sale signs on in Pomeroy, Washington, and I should be posting it online next week because uh, right now we're going to fix the door handle on the driver's side. And once that's done, um, I'm going to list it. But uh, I, I, I'm in Wi-Fi range with this thing. I'm stuck with Wi-Fi, so I can't really go over and show it to you right now. But uh, I guess I could record a separate video on the Pathfinder and run it around and stuff. But uh, yeah, there's the Yellow Jacket Mayhem. Please consider giving to our Patreon. Support us. Help us out. That would be great. But uh, yeah, this is a Y trap, Y rescue trap, and it's just tons of fun. And like I said, the stock stuff that came with this trap didn't work. There's a fly joining in on the fun. He's, I don't know if he can find his way back out or not. The flies, flies seem like they might be stupid too. I'm not sure. There goes another one in there. Oh, another one, one got out. A yellow jacket escaped. But eventually they get tired and they die. Okay, so what is that thing? That is a beetle right there. That is not a yellow jacket on the top. That's some kind of beetle. Let's see if I can let's focus. Yeah, right there. I don't know what kind of beetle that is, but it's very strange. See how close I can get the camera to it. That's just sitting there. Those beetles, they get they get in the way. They get stuck in the holes on the top. But uh how close can I get to these guys? Look at them, they're just going berserk in there. And this is just, like I said, the, this just started, for those of you tuning in, this, they, like, for weeks, these guys were not interested in the bottom of this trap at all, just the top part, and now all of a sudden, they want the maple syrup I put in the bottom, and they're just going crazy. So, there you go. Don't know what else to say about it. They do occasionally figure out how to get back out, as you saw, but from the top part, but not the bottom. The bottom, once they get in there, they're done. They're stuck. And uh, I don't have live chat on for the video, so I'm sorry about that. It did pop up before when people were chatting, but right now it's not. Um, but yeah, so you can make the Y traps work if you modify them like I did. to cut the top out, put sugar water in the top, and. Uh, Got a bunch in the bottom. Hey, guess what? Since this is live, uh, my ex-wife, she's across the street, my neighbor's house, for some reason. She's been doing that for like the last month or so. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's her. But uh, yeah, there's the yellow jacket down there getting wood. But uh, there's so many of them stuck in there. Hopefully they can't build another nest. Hopefully they just all get in there and die and don't have to worry about them anymore. Wouldn't that be nice? No more yellow jackets. I'm sure some endangered species person out there would love to help the yellow jackets thrive, but here there's so many of them, I just, I just don't know what to do. And so, this helps with my sanity. Somebody asked me to listen to an hour and 40 minute long court case and comment on it. And uh, I'm about halfway through, and it makes it very, you know, I just don't like listening to it. So I decided to come out here and record these insane yellow jackets for you guys and see if you could count them, see what you guys think. But uh, this is the Y rescue trap. Yeeks. And normally they're not as interested in this trap, especially if, you know, you use the stuff that comes with it. There's a yellow jacket attacking that beetle over there. But um, I'll fly on top of the trap. And, uh, because you can see these yellow jackets are making quite a mess. There's a whole bunch of goo on the outside of the trap, and it seems like they're, the flies are after that. Everything's after this trap. Beetles, flies, even, uh, ladybugs, everything is after this trap. And it seems like the more bugs that die in there, the more bugs are attracted to it. They just, because when I put this out fresh with new sugar water in it, um, not very many, um, yellow jackets go in. Even the hummingbirds have actually come by to just to check it out, you know, because we've got hummingbird traps, or traps, uh, hummingbird feeders here too. But, um, and they're, I think they're actually running dry. No, actually they're doing pretty good. Um, but, uh, 
But this guy, man, this attracts everything in town. They just, yeah, all the bugs want to come here and hang out. And uh, unfortunately, they cook in the sun and they die. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just bless you. Please click the link in the description of the video. Consider giving to our Patreon, please. And uh, go to ChristianCourts.com. Click all our affiliate links. Check out the USCCA protection, the how to win in court, uh, how to build a moped.com, all that great, awesome, wonderful stuff. All right, bye.